Well, the starting pitcher for the Cubs, Javier Assad. It's a five pitch mix, mostly the top two fastball. It's a sinker and a cutter. He'll sprinkle in the off speed pitches as well. One man out, and now Jonathan India will stand in. It bounces that one to third. Morrell steady. Oh, high tag. That's one of the things for Morrell. That arm action is really long and it can get a little bit wild. Kyle Farmer as he stands in. Ground ball softly hit out to short. Or handles it. And Javier Assad, three ground ball outs. The Reds go in order. Mike Miner gets the ball for the Red Legs tonight, and Cowboy Miner has a chance to do some good things. You kind of like this matchup with him against these Cubs. Here is Seiya Suzuki batting, one for three last night, had a homer, drove in three, and the 2 2 driven toward right center. There's a base hit. Nice easy swing by Suzuki, one of those put it in play swings with a one out single. Swing and a miss and down on strikes. Ian Happ went after a fastball up and in. Mike Miner facing big Fran Mill Reyes. And that one hit hard and it eats up steer. Around second and on his way to third is Suzuki. First and third with two outs and here's Nico Horner. The pitch to Horner. He swings loops one into short right field toward the line. Long run Aquino but he will get there and make the catch to end the Cubs first inning threat first four hitters have grounded out nothing nothing game second inning the batter is Spencer Steer three two pitch is going to be in there for a call strike three Steer is out number one make it out number two strikeout number one for Assad swing and a miss strike three Assad back to back strikeouts has set down the first six Reds two men on and the batter is P.J. Higgins Line drive base hit out of the center field Willie Harris is sending Velasquez throw is cut and it's an RBI single P.J. Higgins comes through and the Cubs have the early lead swing and a miss as Miner gets a fastball by Christopher Morrell there's the pitch on the ground right oh. back to Miner he gloves it goes to second one around to first got him double play that is miraculous a look what I found oh. ground ball back to Miner and it was a literal look what I found he looked into his glove as stunned as anybody that he had it as he faces Aristides Aquino does Javier Assad he's done that a lot lifetime he launches again against the Cubs a mammoth shot to left field and the Punisher ties the game at one. I think I saw the ball come off the bat. I'm not sure if I ever saw it come down. Front mill Reyes and Miner working quickly. Pitch to the plate from Miner. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. A three up, three down third for Mike Miner. With one man out, the batter is Jake Fraley. There's the 1-1. One -one. Fraley swings. He hits a long fly ball deep left center field. This one has a chance. It is gone. Jake Fraley drives it out of here to left center field and opposite field home run for the Reds left fielder. So Fraley gives the Reds a two to one lead with his ninth home run of the year. He holds Nico Horner to a leadoff single here in the fourth. Nelson Velasquez has singled in school. The uh, two two. Bouncing ball to third chance for two farmer to second one around to first that is a tailor made five four three double play. Gomes had an infield single his first time he lines one into left center there's a base hit Gomes is two for two and it allows Higgins a chance to bat and boy that double play looks big now. That one flared out of the center field falling base hit. And runners at first and second never start a story with two outs. Now the Cubs have two on with two down and a big spot for Chris Morrell. Minor home with a 2 2 pitch and there's a ground ball. Barrero has it flips it to Farmer close nice at play. second base nice but they get the out. Cubs don't score they get three hits but no runs. Two balls two strikes on Jose Barrero. Barrero out in front swings and misses strike three. Another slow hook from Assad. Two away. Assad deals the pitch. A comebacker. Oh, snagged by the pitcher. Assad he whirls and throws to first to get Robinson as the Reds go down in order here in the fifth. Two balls, two strikes on TJ Friedel. Swing and a miss. Assad punches out another. That's six for him. Jonathan India is 0 for 2. He is grounded out to third base and flied out to left. Lines this ball to left, staggered strides. Hap has to play it on a bounce. India's aboard with a sharp base hit. So man at first, and now it's Kyle Farmer. Farmer 0 for 2. The pitch. 
Farmer rips it into left field. That's down for a base hit. India to second base, held there. And now David Ross is out. And he'll take the baseball from Javier Assad, who did a nice job here tonight. Eric Ullman, a right-hander, and the batter now is Jake Fraley. Way inside. It almost hit him. That's all the way to the backstop on ball four. And the Reds have loaded the bases with one out. And Spencer Steer coming to the plate. Broken bat roller by the mound. It's going to be a tough play. Third baseman has it. Spin throw into the Reds' dugout. Two runs will score. It will go as a base hit, a broken bat single at that for Spencer Steer. But this is one of those plays where there, there are times you really want to go for it and try to make a play for your team, and then there are times you just hold on to the baseball. Second and third. Donovan Solano is at the plate. Opposite way, base hit. Fraley breaks, he scores, stop sign at third for Steer. Base hit and Ribby for Donovan Solano, a 5-1 Reds lead. R.C.D. Zacchino standing in, the pitch. He breaks his bat as he loops one into short right center field, and that's down for a hit. Here comes Spencer Steer home to score, and it's an RBI single for R.C.D. Zacchino. It's his second hit tonight and his second RBI, and it's 6-1 Reds. Velasquez gets a two-out walk. Now the batter is Jan Gomes. And the pitch on the way. Line in the left field, and Jan Gomes is 3-for-3. Three three. Stopping at second is Velasquez. And that now will be it for Mike Miner. But in the end, it's on to the bullpen. Well, we'll deal with P.J. Higgins. Runners at first and second base and two out. 1-1 one, one pitch on the ground to the right side handled by the second baseman. Deer has it throws in time to first to get the outside retired. So a couple of singles a walk the Cubs don't score and leave two. We head to the seventh. Oh what a play. Higgins on the flat out dive and he steals a hit from T.J. Fredo. P.J. way to go. That was spectacular. Aristides Aquino to lead off the ninth inning. Aquino first pitch. On the track and left. Hap looks up and Bush home run. The Punisher's tyranny of the Cubs continues. His second homer of the night. Aristides Aquino stretches the lead. It's now 7-1. to one. T.J. Friedel's up. Bases empty with two outs. Friedel rips a line drive. This time it's by Higgins and down the right field line and by the right fielder Suzuki. It goes to the wall. Friedel's thinking three. Here comes the relay throw to third. Not in time. It's a triple for T.J. Friedel. And a Madrigal represents the Cubs' final chance. Ground ball, weakly hit to Barrero at short. Loves and throws in time. And that's it. Reds win it 7-1 to one over the Cubs at Wrigley Field tonight as the Reds take the middle game of this three-game series and even this series at a game apiece.